Hello everyone, welcome back to Psychology Network channel and today we would be talking about Treisman's attenuation model. So the Treisman's attenuation model falls under early selection model. The other model which falls under early selection model is the Broadbent's filter model. Now Broadbent's filter model said that send a lot of messages are coming but if this is a filter, only one message would pass based on certain characteristics. But Treisman is proposing something different. What Treisman is proposing is that when a lot of mess, uh, stimulus bombards us, few stimulus pass through. But only one is processed very strongly. The other is processed weekly she says not only one message pass passes as broadband had said treesman says that there can be other messages which passes maybe from the unattended year but those messages are not processed elaborately the information uh, the experiment which treesman had done to prove this model is called the speech shadowing task so the participants were presented with two auditory messages one here and one from this side uh, via headphones they were required to attend to only one message and not the other and they had to uh, listen to it and repeat which is called shadowing typically the kind of stimulus which they were provided was spoken words or sentences and treesman was more likely wanted to see that the messages which were provided to the unattended year how much of it was being processed and what kind of messages were usually being processed it was seen that things like your own name um maybe your school's name or other features uh, of the person who is listening those informations usually from the unattended years used to pass through. Even though very vaguely uh, it's getting processed, but it used to get processed. The attended year, definitely it's getting more processed strongly. But from the unattended year, information which is relevant to the person hearing, they do pass but process weekly. This is what we had learned previously is the cocktail party effect another thing which we have to see is that the two messages the message which is processed strongly would have certain characteristics what would the characteristics be which loudness these would these characteristics would matter and this dictionary is what which uh, in the treesman's model allow for selection between messages on the basis of the content and certain information which requires very less threshold very low threshold would easily be activated in our awareness of a stimuli such as our name our name would have very less threshold and it was it would pass through the attenuator like suppose but your name would not have a less threshold for me my name would have a less threshold for me information related to me would have a less threshold but information related to you would not have a less threshold for me it is a person specific 
a stimulus being less threshold low or low threshold or higher threshold would be person specific suppose if you are talking with your friend in your classroom maybe there's a group of people talking maybe four five people they are talking not very far but not very close also you are listening to your friend now suddenly you hear your name being come coming out of this group you were not processing any any information what they were any information what they were talking about none that you don't even know what they were probably talking about but suddenly when the when your name came out from the group that information passed through the attenuator so this became you attended to this so this this passed through the attenuator but what annie treesman is saying maybe your friend was talking about a specific phone maybe iphone but if your friend asks you what he said and he asks you to repeat it maybe you'd be like okay maybe you were talking about phone he he talked about ram and storage and a lot of other complex things but you said okay maybe you were talking about phone a general um a general info you said maybe you were talking about phone yes he was talking about phone but he did say certain specific things also but it did not get processed elaborately because you unattended to that and the attended one was your name because it passed through the attenuator because it had certain characteristics so the information which your friend said did pass it passed you knew he's talking about the phone but not specifically because the information which passed uh, was very weakly processed this is what treesman's attenuation model is here the filter which broadband talked about is replaced by an attenuator and uh, another difference with broadband's filter model was broadband said only one message would pass and only one message would go to higher perceptual processes but treesman said that no unattended message also would pass but it just the processing would not be very strongly or greatly so this was your treesman's attenuation model i have explained it very simply for just um, your ugc net but there are other things as well in the treesman's attenuation model like criticisms and other experiments which took place if you want me to make a video on those i would do so but for ugc net this what i just talked about is enough Thank you so much for listening in and please subscribe and like this video because Psychology Network is your one-stop solution to all your psychology exams. Thank you and do subscribe.